both of you and um, welcome to my uh, the defense of my master thesis with the title Unlocking the value of linked building data, a lean and integrated management process of temporary construction items. Um, and I developed this thesis in uh, with guidance from Jan Kalzai as my supervisor from DTU and also in collaboration, as I told you, um, from Exigo. Um, yes. And then I would like to start with um, an agenda. It's really slow. Here it is. The agenda of my defense. Um, first, I'm starting with a state of the art um, review, exploring the problem and solution space um, of the construction industry, and also deriving the research motivation for this thesis. Then um, I'm going through the research design and continue by presenting the proposed concept solution and the two phases of prototyping, with first a demo project and then in a case study. Um, and then when the solution development is understood, um, I will continue with revealing a few main findings from the evaluation interviews um, and conclude the defense with the reflection upon the developed solution. Um, and in the beginning of the thesis, I developed a quite intensive state-of-the-art review um, to investigate the current problems in the construction industry um, and also to explore potential solutions to overcome these, these problems. And this is being done both in literature and uh, with practice in practice. And here you can see the problem space identified in the state-of-the-art review and identified two main issues from the construction industry, industry uh, which are the poor productivity and safety issues on site. Um, and this is um, derived from literature. And these main issues are based on um, lack of information technology in construction, missing integration of BIM-based management and planning and site monitoring, and the lack of bilateral information flow from design and to construction and also backwards. Um, and because this problem space is quite big, I tried to narrow down um, the problem to a specific use case and I identified that there's a general lack of attention regarding temporary construction items as the, these items are not yet properly, properly planned um, in a construction project. And therefore these items serve as a target group for the, for the thesis. Um, and then based on this problem space, I, I derived a problem definition, which is stating um, today's construction industry is suffering from poor productivity and safety issues due to a lack of BIM and IT integration in construction processes, especially regarding construction items, temporary construction items. Um, and then in order to support um, this problem space and also to um, prove the relevance of, of my thesis, I would like to present you a few quotes which I experienced in the thesis development. Um, for example, Contractor 4, Consultant 1, and 2, as well as the paper Wu et al. from 2018, revealed that temporary construction items are often only considered as an estimation from a very primitive and manual approach, and the site manager is the only person with the knowledge of the TCI utilization. And in this regard, um, Consultant 1 also mentioned that um, he's scared if a guy like this um, leaves or gets sick because the site plan is solely in his head and barely documented. And that's a real problem. Then furthermore, contractor one um, explained that many construction managers order too many homework elements on site to be sure that it will be enough for the entire project. Um, and then I also conducted a site observation on a real con construction project. Um, and although the, the construction site was normally good in shape, um, I identified that, that there are a lot of items laying around the construction site blocking access paths and, and also causing safety hazards uh, for the construction workers. But this was a, and this was a common issue on the on site, but it was considered a minor problem uh, by the construction workers as it is the situation as they know a normal, a normal construction site looks like. And here you can see two examples uh, from the site observation. Um, and then um, these statements clearly reveal the poor planning of temporary construction items on a construction site. Um, although it is identified by Biel and André from 2017 um, that the correct choice, good planning, designing, and operation of temporary structures are keys for the success of every construction project. Um, 
And now um, I would like to continue with the state of the art review with the solution space, um, where I explore potential solutions to overcome these problems. Um, and here I derived five recommendations from literature, um, which you can see over here. Um, the first one is the adoption of BIM and TCI's consideration in construction site for site planning and management, then IoT technology for tracking construction resources, um, using a cloud-based platform for data management, um, then using tailored dashboard visualizations for um, of the data, and integrating stakeholder in the information system. Um, and then after also integrating the practical point of view with expert interviews from the construction industry, I shifted the research focus from all five recommendations to only towards the first recommendation, the adoption of BIM and TCIs, as I it was identified that you first have to plan temporary construction items before you can um, apply other uh, activities as tracking them with IoT technologies. And in total, this state-of-the-art report forms the basis of the research um, and motivated the, the thesis to define the following research um, statements. And here you can see the research statements. Um, the first one, the problem definition, was derived from the problem, problem space, as I already described. And this problem definition then motivated um, to develop a research objective, which aims at developing an integrated and lean management process of temporary construction items with a data-driven information flow between planning and construction to improve productivity and safety on site. Um, and from, to address this research objective in the thesis, I derived a research question, the main research question, which asks, how can productivity and safety issues at a construction site be resolved by improving the site and logistics management of TCIs? Um, yeah, and then um, I would like to continue with the research design of my thesis. And in order to fulfill the um, developed research objective and also to answer the main research question, um, I had to develop a, a innovative solution which has not been explored before. And therefore, I chose managing innovation um, as the main methodology which guided the thesis from the early ideation of a, of a solution to the detailed development of the solution. And this methodology has four different steps search, select, implement, and capture, which are consecutively addressed in the thesis. And the first step um, needs to answer the generic question, how can we find opportunities for innovation? And um, it tries to identify signals in the, in the industry uh, that call for change. And this was already done in the state of the art review in the beginning of the thesis um, by reviewing the opportunities for innovation in literature as well as in practice. Then the second step, select, um, needs to narrow down the signals to a specific use case or to a specific application. And this answers the generic research question, what are we going to do and why? Um, and this, was a, this aspect was addressed in the thesis with the, um, with the chapter concept development. And two, the first two sub-research questions was derived uh, from this generic question, which is the research question one and the research question two. The research question one is asking how TCIs are currently handled in construction projects. And the second research question is going one step further and ask how this process can be improved in a simple way. Um, and for this step, I, I used um, literature review, expert interviews, as well as a, an observation um, as methods to answer the research questions. Then um, to continue with the process model, um, the next steps are implementing and capturing, um, and they are combined in the chapter solution development. And implement is um, addressing how to bring the theory into practice, so how to develop a solution. And capture is then um, asking how to generate the benefits from it. And those two steps are combined in the third research question, which asks, how to integrate TCI data to the existing BIM process and with that create value for the project. Um, and here, prototyping was uh, selected as the main methodology to actually develop a solution, um, first in a demo project and then to further develop the solution in a, in a case project and um, in a case study. Um, and then because this process model of managing innovation is lacking um, an evaluation step, 
to evaluate the developed solution, um, I included another uh, fourth uh, process step, which is called evaluation. And for that, I developed also a third research question, which asks or which asks for the proof whether the added value um, can be verified to ensure its success. To ensure its success. And for that, I used qualitative research interviews with 12 experts from the construction industry from different stakeholders to evaluate the potential of the solution. And um, now, as the research design um, is presented, I would like to continue with the um, concept solution. And this concept solution, or for this concept solution, I first developed um, or derived goals which the solution has to accomplish um, from literature um, and from the state of the art review. And the solution first shall function automatically. It shall identify the TCI demand of the building model. Um, it shall link the BIM data, which is a building model and the location-based schedule to the TCI demand. Um, then it shall develop a time and location-based TCI utilization plan, enable a passive monitoring of um, with the progress information from the schedule, and then last but not least, uh, visualize the data for the stakeholder needs. Um, and based on these of these goals, I developed the concept solution framework, which you can see on the left. Um, first, on the top, you can see the BIM data with the building model and the and the location-based schedule. Um, and this data has to be linked to the TCI data in order to derive a TCI utilization plan. Um, and the TCI data here um, consists of the information of the temporary construction items. And here, formwork is chosen as a suitable um, representative of temporary construction items to narrow down um, the solution space for, for this application, of, for this research. Um, and to, in order to describe um, formwork operation, I developed a new ontology, which is describing the whole range or the, the context of using formwork in construction. And then these data sets are linked together in one linked data environment, where then all data is integrated to derive a TCI utilization plan. And then also over here, progress information of the construction site is included with a, a mobile application, which is called Execute, which is from Exigo. And this mobile application allows the construction workers to document their progress on site. So the schedule is already uh, always updated with the progress information from the construction site. And furthermore, I included suppliers in the framework um, to also integrate specific product information. Um, and then when all information is integrated into the linked data environment, it can be used for visualization um, to meet the needs of the stakeholders. And here um, in the middle, you can see that I used a linked data environment. And I used linked data for this, um, for this purpose because it provides an open and common um, environment for sharing, integrating, and linking data from different domains and, um, and data sources. And the idea of linked data is that the project data is um, provided from different stakeholders, and then it's integrated into a central model um, where it can then be accessed, processed, or distributed to, to other stakeholders um, to then further develop the project. And um, one other advantage of this is that this data model can be simply extended with um, new data, for example, with building codes, with product information, or with IoT data. So it's an open solution. Um, and because of linked data has a huge potential in, in the construction industry, this research tries to unlock the value of linked building data for the improvement of TCIs, TCI management and planning um, in order to increase the productivity and safety on a construction site. Um, and now, to put the theory into practice, I developed a prototype. Um, and the following slide will show you a system architecture, how this prototype is working over here. Um, and this, put, this system architecture comprises four different steps, which are aligned to the big data value chain. Um, and these steps are the data sources and extraction, data management, data processing and querying, and also visualization and distribution. Um, and then the first step, the data sources and extraction, the relevant data from the three data sources are first extracted and then converted into RDF triple graphs. And here you can see that the TCI data is coming from two different sources because in a construction project in the beginning where no 
supplier has chosen yet, a default set of, of formwork elements uh, will serve as the data source for the TCA data. And as soon as the project then selected a specific supplier, the data can be updated with um, specific project and in product information from a, a product catalog of the supplier. And then the individual data graphs over here are stored in a triple store, which is a database for, for linked data. And from there, the data can be accessed um, and processed with, with a HTTP request in a program. And then in order to calculate the formwork demands of the given wall structures, um, um, a HTTP request first receives the information from the triple store, and then an algorithm in a program um, calculates the formwork demand for each wall. And then the new information is written back to the triple store with the HTTP post request. And then um, all the information for the TCI utilization is stored in a triple store and can be combined in one combined data graph. Um, and then this combined data graph contains all information for visualizing um, the TCI utilization plan. And this can be done in a simple way by just querying the, the data to display a table visualization. Um, but then I also included two more advanced um, visualization tools for the pros for this research with the SQL integration, where I visualize it as an automated dashboard with Power BI or a mobile application for the construction workers. Um, yeah, where I also did visualize the data. And then the next few steps, I would explain um, each of the visualization tools a little bit more in detail. Mm. There it is. Um, so here you can see the simple data uh, table visualization with the query. Um, and you can see in the beginning the wall instances with the length information from the Revit model, then the TCI information with the quantities and the types of TCIs which are used um, from the TCI data, as well as the schedule information from the LBS data and the um, progress information from, from Execute. And then the first more advanced um, option for visualizing the data is the mobile application. And here um, I chose the mobile application from Exigo Execute to um, develop a new tab, um, which is um, which is presenting the TCI information. And this tab then contains TCI quantities for each task on the construction site. It also provides the construction workers with a checklist for progress monitoring. Um, and you can also add assembly instructions for TCIs to ensure a safe and, and correct installation and also a safety risk factor to raise the safety awareness of risky um, operations. And then the main development of the research is the automated dashboard visualization. Um, and here you can see the TCI allocation, which is showing the utilization plan of, of formwork elements for the entire project and clearly re re revealing also the, the peak demand. So where the most um, elements are needed in the, in the schedule. Um, then over here, it shows the quantities um, for each day of formwork elements. Um, and I also included a time, a time slicer, a TCI type filter, and also a location filter to re review only the data you want to review. And then here, um, I also included a comparison between um, or a comparison of the TCI utilization between a static stock approach and the dynamic stock approach. And the static stock approach is how formwork elements are currently ordered on a construction site, which is based on an estimation of the peak demand on site. So the formwork elements are ordered uh, based on what the construction manager thinks is the peak amount of, of formwork elements he needs for one specific day. And because of more in most days, as you can also see here, this amount is, um, is less. A lot of uh, formwork elements um, are not used on, on the construction site. They need to be stored. And this uh, leads to high rent, which is not needed. And also these items block valuable storage space. And because of the proposed solution now um, increases the transparency over the TCI utilization, um, a dynamic stock approach is possible with a just-in-time delivery. And this um, approach tries to minimize the number of items on a construction site, but still meets the demand 
um, of the of the schedule. Um, and in general, this will lower the stock, reduce the waste of money of rent, and also of valuable storage space for the construction site. And this cost comparison you can also see over here uh, with the stock, uh, the static stock in red, and the dynamic stock in blue. Um, and this is a clear and quantifiable benefit of the solution. Um, and then to continue, I developed um, or I. I developed a case study to verify the potential in, in a real case project and also further develop the, the solution prototype with new findings. And in order to, um, to explain the different functionalities of the new solution or of the further developed solution, I, I have a walkthrough video where I try to explain the different functionalities. And this is um, based on the further development of the dashboard visualization. visualization. Um, yeah. So the first page, here you can see the project overview with the project information of the project on the left, um, also revealing the in situ walls of the project highlighted in green. And then on the right side of this dashboard, you can see the content um, with the three pages, TCIs and PCIs, which is showing the um, resources which are used on the construction site, the TCI utilization, and the TCI tasks. Um, and then the first page, the TCIs and PCIs, um, the resources which are used on the project are displayed. On the left, you can see the temporary construction items, um, and on the right, the permanent building items, which are here, the in situ walls. And um, on the top, you can choose the TCI type you want to review with this dashboard. And then, um, on the lower part, you can have a, a detailed list of all formwork elements which are used in the project with detailed information about the quantities and other useful information. And then the right side aims to um, informing about the in situ concrete walls which are used in the construction site, first with um, quantities of the wall types, and then also having a detailed list of each wall instance and with some useful information as length and height. And here on this side, you can also um, filter the location. So you can only review the location where you want to review the, um, the wall instances. And then you, the lists are also updated with this location. And then the next page is the main page, which I already, um, no. The next page is uh, the main page, which I already showed you before in the demo project. Um, and here, here the TCI allocation shows again the utilization plan um, with the different periods where the formwork is, is used. And it clearly reveals the peak between February and March. Then on the top, you can also filter again um, the data with the time slicer. So you can only review the dates, the dates you want to review. Then you can filter um, the uh, framework elements with primary framework elements or secondary framework elements. And on the right, you also have a location filter to only review the locations you are interested in. And then also the utilization plan is updating to only show you what is going on in this, um, in this location. And then on the left, you have again the possibility to choose one specific day and then get the detailed quantities of how many formwork elements um, are used on this specific day. And then on the right, you have again the comparison between a static stock and dynamic stock with the TCI utilization rate. Um, and you can also see the different formwork elements and, the, and the, the current utilization for the for the selected day. And for example, if you select a day in February, um, the, the utilization rate between the static stock and the dynamic stock is the same as we are now in the peak demand of the formwork uh, utilization. And therefore, there's no change in the static stock and the dynamic stock. And 
But then as soon as you click another day, for example, in May, where the utilization rate is much lower, so less formwork elements have to be used on site, uh, you can see the difference that in the um, static stock approach, only 30% of the formwork are used and the rest is just le or need to be stored on site and is not used. Um, and this is also clearly affecting the cost development um, as shown over here. And then the next page um, shows the TCI tasks with um, a Gantt diagram. And it also has the same um, filter options as the previous pages. And here with the Gantt diagram, you can simply click um, on a specific task, which has wall, a wall structure. Um, and then the data is, or the dashboard is highlighting where uh, this task is located and also shows you information about the task and which formwork elements you need to, um, to construct this wall over here. Yes, and so much for the um, dashboard. I would like to continue with um, a few findings from the evaluation interviews. Um, where I also presented the solution to some exports from the construction industry and then received feedback of the potential. Um, here, 11 out of 12 interviewees agree that the solution presents a good way to bridge design and construction with an integrated data environment where both site planning and management can benefit from the improved control um, over trans improved control. Um, and transparency of the TCI utilization, leading to a more and lean integrated construction management. Then also a total of seven interviewees um, claim that the automatic generation of the TCI utilization plan by using and integrating existing project data is targeting a niche in construction, which is not yet fully optimized. Um, and then also as identified by almost all interviewees, the solution increases productivity on site and also safety improvements are achieved as a secondary effect due to the transparency, the control and the lean management. Um, and thus this is fulfilling the research objective. Um, now I would like to continue with a reflection of the developed solution um, to bring the findings together and then reflect upon the implementation of the developed solution. Here um, I outlined a process flow um, where the solution can be applied in the construction phases um, and where um, the solution is adding value to construction. Um, and in this um, defense, I would like to not um, present everything in detail, but I would like to focus on the last step over here, which is uh, clearly showing the level of, automated, of automation and integration of the solution. Um, and this shows that because all of the data is integrated into a linked data environment, um, if a change occurs in one of the data sources, the TCI utilization plan is also automatically updated. For example, if, the, if there's a delay in the schedule on the construction site, the progress information is put into the schedule and then the TCI utilization plan is also updated with this new information. And this allows to compare the actual TCI utilization with what was planned. Uh, and you always have an an updated um, utilization plan. Um, and then reflecting upon the solution and also the findings from the evaluation interviews, I developed two scenarios um, for the implementation of the solution. The first one focusing on the current industry and the, the other one exploring how the solution can contribute to a bigger vision of the industry. And now in this defense, I would like to focus um, on the, on the second um, approach or the second scenario, um, which is envisioning, a, because it's envisioning a new project delivery system, which you can see over here. Um, and this scenario aims at exploring a future vision of how the solution is, can disrupt the industry by introducing the linked data approach to develop a new project delivery system. And this framework you can see over here is showing a decentralized project delivery where the stakeholders first generate and own their own data 
and then they can provide specific data as a service to the linked data environment over here, where it is then integrated into a central data model. And this data can then be accessed and distributed to authorized stakeholders for further developing the, the project and also derive new data. For example, um, the consultant can then visualize the data um, to improve construction processes. And this framework can also be utilized in the TCI application of the thesis, uh, where the TCI calculation engine can be outsourced to the specialized supplier because he has the, the advanced algorithm to better plan and better calculate the TCI demands. Um, and then as soon as the TCI demands for the project are calculated by the supplier, he can provide the data in the linked data environment um, and then um, the data can then be used to improve the construction processes. Um, and because this is only providing the results of a calculation, it also shows the potential beyond the TCI application. As all the discipline-oriented tasks in a construction project, for example, can be uh, managed decentralized, and then the results from the specialized um, stakeholder can be put together in the linked data environment where the, where the project can be further developed. And with this integrated project delivery, the industry would unlock the full potential of linked building data, uh, which might be the needed change um, to lead the industry to a better future. Um, and now to conclude the defense, um, I would like to reflect again on the developed solution by um, presenting the limitations and also the need for further development and, and research. Um, first of all, um, the limitations. The, the developed solution is only using Revit and Vico um, for the data extraction. Then the building model, uh, or this is identified that the building model must be set up correctly to ensure data integrity. Um, and the solution requires a data-driven project delivery as a manual input for the TCI utilization plan is not yet considered. Um, then the solution is only addressing the use case of formwork elements and the formwork algorithm um, is only considered geometry in 1D. And in order to make the linked data approach work, uh, there's a lot of change required in the construction industry and further development um, of the technology level of the different stakeholders. Then to continue with the future research, um, there's a future, a further prototyping step needed where the solution is applied as a pilot project to identify areas for the further improvements and also quantify the added value for the different stakeholders. Um, furthermore, there's a further development um, of the solution needed to also, for example, use um, active tracking of TCIs with IoT technology and also integrate other TCIs, for example, scaffolding or safety barriers, and not only focusing on formwork. Um, then in order to make the vision work, there's a need to develop a standardized ontology framework for the construction industry to describe the whole building data in its holistic context. Um, and also the future vision over here requires the stakeholder to publish their data with RDF, and therefore the industry and the stakeholders need to be further developed with their technology level to be integrated or to be part of this um, decentralized project delivery. Yes, um, so far that's all of my presentation. 